um, fearful for the next generations. Um, I think definitely we've noticed climate changes over the last few years. Summer and autumn, winter and summer all seem to be going into each other and having just been on holiday I know that in Cyprus they also have problems with regard to they normally have a heavy rainfall in February, in fact they've had no rainfall at all. I think you can also detect a difference in the sun rays, you actually feel them penetrating and burning whereas in the past you didn't have that sensation, you just had a sensation of heat. Well, I think having young children, then obviously I am concerned you know, for their future. And we live near a river, so I always worry that if the, uh, you know, the waters are rising, our house is going to get submerged. So it's a, a various sort of concerns, really. But yeah, I mean, for the kids' future, that's what bothers me. I think my message to Tony Blair would be very simply, the money which we want to put into oil, let's put into solar energy. You're the man that wants to make the changes. Be brave enough to make the change. Tony, look at the technology that we've got, mate, and use it. Just use it, mate. Solar power, mate. Solar's great, so be smart and stop oil. <laughs> Well, I think this uh, sort of explains itself. It's uh, absolutely marvellous, and if we can utilise the, the world's natural resources, then we should do that without polluting anything else. They're, they're really uh, nice, sexy black colour, which is great. The sun to us, it's free, and why not use it instead of just using it for sunbathing? We're using it, we're saving money and helping the environment at the same time. If I was going to send a message to Mr Blair, it'd have to be something about the sheer scale of what's going on here about the fact that stuff like this cannot be ignored. Stuff like this can definitely not be ignored. You've got a washing machine, you've got a television, you've got a popcorn maker, you've got everything that you could need, music. Yeah, the technology is relatively early, and yeah, I know this is a country that doesn't like to take a risk, but this sort of thing cannot be ignored and something's got to be done about it. My brother's got solar panels in his house. He finds they've cut, cut his fuel bills. It's very ecologically sound. It's, it's the way forward. It, it has to happen. Very good, indeed. Very good, indeed. And that's just what we want, isn't it? To save the environment. I think the government and everybody else should back it. It's the way forward. I think all new houses in the future must be built with solar energy panels and to encourage as many people as possible to get them who haven't already got them. So it's a little bit pricey, but if the price was to come down yet, yeah, I'd consider it. Hamilton Grove Playground in Hackney is the first building in the capital to be powered solely by the sun. It's the face of the future, green, clean and free, a building powered by the sun. The building not only produces its own electricity, but exports surplus power back to the national grid. I think it's very good to have solar panels because then you don't have to pay electricity when like, say if you were poor and you had just enough money to look after yourself, if you spent loads of it on electricity you wouldn't have any money left.
government should lead the way. We need to see some real action taking place. We've got to look to the future now, haven't we? Take solar power seriously. I'm sure Liz Lloyd, your policy advisor, would tell you exactly the same thing. It is time to stop investing in oil. As you see, I've got a young girl, and I've got to think of her future as well as mine. And I'm sure you'll be conscious about the fact of your children, and you'll be wanting to subsidise solar power to make a better future for us all. Mr Blair, if you're listening, can you please give these lot a chance? I think it's a brilliant idea. You know, you should do something about it.